Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com A new Windows 10 build to look at This is 20197 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel Not a huge amount to show you on this one But uh, some uh, new settings to show you I noticed as well when this launched the um, I got the welcome back screen from the uh, Edge Rather than the tip app the, that it showed in the last build Which was a feature of the last build So I don't know that they've taken that out or... For some reason that hasn't fired up. Anyway, let me show you what's new. This start button looks smaller as well. I don't know if that's just a, it is reboot or that's um, actual change. So here in settings, we've got the new disk manager and volumes um, UI. So this is instead of using the old MMC snapping. Oh, and it crashes. So I've tried a few times, I've rebooted, and every time I go to that manage storage volume, it, uh, it crashes. Um, it looks an interesting feature, uh, a better way than, than the old systems and uh, MMC, the snapping, but uh, not working on my Surface Go at the moment. I'll keep, keep trying it and we'll, and we'll see. This is obviously it's test builds and that's, that's why we're testing it. Other things mentioned in the blog post is an improvement to your phone and um, all the, the, the your phone features that support screen mirroring, things like that are rolling out to all inside, uh, to everyone, not just Windows Insiders. I've got a separate video on this actually, um, using the new Samsung uh, Note uh, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and uh, it's really, really good system where you can launch Android apps directly from your uh, from your phone. You can see I've even got them pinned here at the bottom. There, these are Android apps that will run on my machine. The rest of the changes are fairly minor. They've improved the Alt Tab behaviour. So the change of say the behavior in Alt Tab when you um, Alt Tabbed in Edge, you got the five most recent, and now uh, you can choose. It's sorry, you got the most recent now. You can choose to have five tabs. This is just a setting, which I can quickly show you. So the default now is that one. So the rest of these really the changes are all uh, minor fixes. They fix some Alt Tabbing issues. They fix some pinning issues. Uh, they fix some group policy. Some uh, network status information they fixed um, VPNs not automatically logging in there's a whole long list of actual fixes with this build but I'll include all those on the post on the digitallifestyle.com there's still some known issues I expect uh, as you see in the crashing with the um, with the display settings is one of those things it's not a known issue actually but it's uh, one of the things you get with development builds uh, anti-cheat software may be f still failing uh, the min max close buttons are stuck on UWP apps. I've seen that a couple of times. I don't really see it on this one. Um, they have a tendency to to get stuck, and it's, it's not doing it on this one. But I have seen that a couple of times. And um, there's some pin sites don't work as well, so they're uh, working on that as well. So that's the changes with this build. Not a, not a huge amount to show you, especially as one of the changes crashes, but that's the thing with testing development builds. You're not going to get everything working perfectly every time. That's the whole point of the testing. So thanks for watching this video. You can see more on our YouTube channel on thegistalifestyle.com and I'm at iStixon on Twitter.